Hey, what's up, YouTube? CMO Reviews here today. Giving you guys an unboxing of the Turtle Beach Air Force X41s for your Xbox 360 gaming console. These are for chat and game audio. The game audio and chat will both be projected through the ears um, that kind of set on your head, like a head, like any ear um, headset would, uh, music, earbuds, whatever would. But these are the wireless ones. I would really recommend these. These are really nice. I've been using them a lot. Um, in the box, it, it is powered by the Xbox um, wireless U. I mean, the Xbox USB. This is the cord that plugs into your USB in your Xbox, and this is the other side of the cable that plugs back into the back of the wireless tower, as I'm going to call it. I will also do a setup video and a review of them. This is the unboxing, so I'll just be going over what comes in the box and what the box looks like and different things about the headphones themselves. So let's get on to the box right now. So on the first side, uh, this is the side that just kind of gives you some info like what sound system does it really use. It actually uses, it says on the box, Dolby head headphone one seven point one surround sound. I'm not. I don't really know too much about these. I just got these because I'm gonna start doing a lot of gaming stuff, and I'm gonna get a HD PVR or capture card. So I needed this to record audio. Um, so it just kind of shows what the side of the headphone looks like on this. On the back, this is pretty cool. Usually headsets or anything you get doesn't really show you how to connect it, but this actually gives you a perfect diagram of how to connect it. The headphones are connected by a white cable that one side goes into your Xbox controller and the other side goes actually into the headphones themselves then from there you can control if you want to be muted or if you want to be talking either on or mute this allows you to control how loud you want to hear when someone's talking through the headphones and there is also another switch on the headphones that shows how much game volume you actually want it to be on so on the last side, this actually shows what all the cables and ports that are on the wireless tower and how to plug in everything and what everything really is on there. So let's get to the headphones themselves. So here are the headphones themselves. Like I said, I'll do a setup video. If you don't really know what you're doing and you've never had a pair of these or are not very technically um, good at anything. So here are the headphones themselves they have a little kind of tower I call them the tower that have they can rest up here I'll go over the tower in a minute but we're gonna start with the headphones so on top it's very cushioned it's very comfortable to wear it says turtle beach on it they might not look like the nicest quality because you pick them up and you're like what the heck cloth I mean that's seriously not gonna be very durable but these are like really comfortable and when you put them on they're not noise canceling or anything so if someone's trying to get them for the noise canceling then they're really not that great these are where the batteries go they took two triple A's and that's my only problem like today I ran out of battery because they use a lot of power and I got pretty mad because I couldn't find any other AAAs, so I pretty much had to pretty much salvage them through the house with taking them out of remotes and stuff. So on this side, as you can see, there's the right, and this is Air Force X41, and these are where the batteries go. This will just slide off the front, or back, should I say, and that's where the mic will go in. I'll show you how to put the mic in in a minute. It's pretty simple. These, um, you can move that up and down. It has the Turtle Beach logo. On here, it has the power button to turn them on. And when you turn them on, this red light will turn on and start blinking. And that means you are connected. And so you can turn them off by doing that. And it will blink a couple times and it will stop. The next one here is where the white cable that plugs into your controller will go in. And this part, we'll just stick it in there. And then hook it up the other end of the controller. And you can, you can control the chat volume and how loud you want it to be talking. This right here controls the bass and how much like deepness you want everything to be heard this is how much the chat vol I mean the game volume you want to be heard so if you want to be streaming loud you put it all the way up and pretty much nothing all the way down and so um all oh, let's get onto the tower right now I'm just gonna put these back on there and we'll get onto the tower so right now I've taken off the headphones I'm gonna move my tripod down a little bit and I've taken off my headphones of the tower, so we're just going to go over what all is on the tower. So let's start with the back, that's the most important part. 
Now, what really makes the Turtle Beach is awesome is if someone's walking by you, maybe in a video game, Call of Duty, you're laying down somewhere you're not playing or you're prone somewhere and you can't hear, You can, and someone's walking down the hallway and you're looking through a door, you can actually hear them on the right side, but only if, really, you have a digital, um, out, digital audio or output cable. I think that's what it's called. And Or if you don't, you can use these, but it still doesn't sound as good. This is what really makes it the best. Okay, so the next thing is, how is powered is the USB through your Xbox. It's a black cable that comes with it. It just plugs straight in there, right there, and then you plug the USB into your Xbox. The next thing on the tower that is important is the power button. That's the most important thing I'd probably say, because if you don't turn the power on, then you're not going to get any sound through there. And this is the line in volume right here. On the side, it has a Turtle Beach logo on the side. It's pretty white, so you can't really see, probably. It has a little palm tree, and then it just says what company makes it. This, I guess, is earbuds or something down here. You can control it. I'm not really sure. That's the volume thing, and I'm not really sure what this does, but it kind of changes the settings up here. And, I, yeah, this is digital input up here, and then that's what kind of controls it. So you see three red lights usually, whenever, at least when I play. So we're going to put it back up there. And when you're done playing, you can just put the headphones back on top like that. And so let me show you how to put the mic on real quick. So when you put the mic on, it's actually pretty simple. It's pretty idiot-proof. But, you know, some people have a little trouble with it. On the mic itself, it has a little arrow on one side. Let me find it. It's kind of hard to see. But you're just going to want to... Here it is. You're just, you probably, if you don't really know, just kind of spin it around. And you can probably find how it goes in. And it's in. So you can do it like that, which no one will be able to hear you, or you can turn it. It's very flexible. You can pretty much do any shape you want. So you can put them on like that, and it will look like that with the mic in front of you, and they'll be on. So let me get to the final analysis of the headphones. So an overall view of the box, the headphones, and the appearance of them, they're great. They look pretty cool. The mic is awesome. I mean, you can hear yourself, too. Like, if you're, if you're talking, you'll be able to hear yourself through that, but not, like, over the game volume. It's pretty cool. The box is really nice. Everything in it is very nice and very look appealing. So I would recommend them to anybody who's looking for a nice set of headphones. If you're very careful with them, I don't think they'll break, which I don't use them. I pretty much use them all the time now, but I'm very careful with them because, I mean, $150 for them is very expensive. But I got them from a friend who sold them for me to me about $70. You can also buy them on eBay for about $70 to $80, but I got a great deal there in pristine condition. He only used them like 10 times, so I got a great deal. So, this is a great um, headset. I would not recommend anything under a 31. I think 31s are wireless too, but I would never get one that isn't wireless because they're, they're pretty crappy, I would say, because there's so many wires that have to power them through the headset from the Xbox. You know, there's so much stuff you have to do with the wired ones. So, I'd never buy any wired ones. I mean, even if they're, they're cheaper, but they're not as good and they don't sound as good, these are great. You can buy them off eBay for cheaper than, you know, you can buy 31s brand new for like $100. I'm not really sure how much. But you can buy these for like used, but in pretty good condition for like $80 on eBay or sometimes brand new. Um, if I find a link, they will be in the description below to some eBay ads. I'm not sure. They might have expired by the time that I put them up or anything like that. So if you want to see the setup on how to do it, how to tech it up to your Xbox, there will be another video. I'll try to put that in the link if I remember. And I'm going to do a review of them. I'm going to go over all the aspects, kind of like I did here, but just like the sound quality and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in my reviews here. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, just check out my other videos I'm going to be putting up. put stuff about iPad, the case, questions that people have given me. I'll be reading them off. Thanks for listening, guys.